rain and, and have it play a game or something. And so I let's said, do it. Let's do it. <laughs> I had to come here because. Ooh, what is it? of Alicia grass cutting. Oh, and um, I'm just very excited that I get to be a part of this momentous occasion. occasion. You won't need more than that. Yeah, positive. Yeah. That's pretty good. Are you going to mow the lawn? No, I'm just going to get out of the way so she has more room to do her thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I always had somebody come into my desk to say, and, and one guy, he had, oh God, he had serious brain damage from an accident on his honeymoon. Oh. He was in one of those crazy rides, you know, they go yeah, yeah. like this, and, he got and it broke. Out. And oh. a major, major head injury. And so I was one of the few people, or maybe the only one in the place who could understand him, uh, what he was saying. And so he was always... <laughs> I think you might have whacked too many weeds. I think. You did whack too many, but... Well, it's been limping along for several years, so I'll... The weed whacker? Well, I'm sure that, I'm sure that, um, that somebody will be able to fix it. Well, no, I, I just can run vinegar through the pipes of it, and then I'll blow it up. No, you won't. It's not, it's not it's exciting enough. Pipes, it's not exciting enough to blow up. Do you have an opinion, too? No. <laughs> I just want to see you mow more. Yeah. <laughs> you want to see mow mow? Ron, we love it, but you it was very manly. <laughs> I want more manly mowing in my own backyard. <laughs> you want to see that whippersnipper move? Oh, God. <laughs> that, that mom, what can we do with this? What time is oh, so you don't have to worry about anything. Okay. I went to the. Uh, I was going to bring one with me now. Uh, I was going to bring an actual. Family picture well, time is over. I don't know. I think that's pretty good. Uh, and that's a good picture. Of it. And Sylvia. Right there. Mark, there he is, right? So funny. Still I kind of like this feeling of being left behind This ain't nothing new to me Well it's just like I'm 
The oh, and then they do uh, every Monday, I believe at 9.30, they do uh, a smudging sage ceremony to start the week off. So who does that? Uh, they bring in elders from the indigenous communities to come in and, uh, and lead them. I don't know if it's set people or if it rotates. I think it probably varies from year to year, depending on who's available. So this is for specifically the students of this center, or can anyone come in? Anyone can come in to participate in the smudging community. It's open to students, staff, any member of the university community that wants to come in and uh, participate can come in to kind of start the week off on a, on a, on a note, do a little cleanse, get, get, get in the right frame of mind. The other really cool thing about this building that, that's not really well known is that um, they really wanted to have it grounded and connected to the earth because I think that was an important part when they consulted with the indigenous folks regarding the kind of what the building should be like. And because of the way they do construction here, everything has a basement that's usually open. So they actually ran a post that runs from the floor all the way down into deep into the ground as kind of the center post to ground the building. Almost like a TP. Exactly. That's exactly right. Qui 
les enfants viennent en chaloupe. Yon pêche chez toi, crapé soleil. Yon pêche chez toi, crapé soleil. Yon pêche chez toi, crapé soleil. Les mouches à feu font des folies. Les wawarons sont pas plus fins. Les wawarons sont pas plus fins. Les wawarons sont pas plus fins. Plus tard, on ira sur le sable, c'est temps pour compter les étoiles. 